Hi y'all, it's Skye and thanks for visiting my channel. Welcome to another very special Diamond Art Club sneak peek. This is one of the Black Friday kits. Let me go ahead and show you which one it is. Yes, it's Gemini by Chiro Marchetti. So this is for all you Geminis out there, like myself, I am a Gemini. Actually, my mother, my stepfather, myself, and my partner are all Gemini. So we got a lot of Geminis in the family. So this kit is square drill. You can see from the blue square here and the blue theming of the box. And then as we turn it over, you can see some information about how to diamond paint the kit contents. Then on the side here, we've got a QR code for 10% off. And I need to cut this plastic off so we can check out what's in the box. Okay, the plastic is off, but before we go any further, I do want to make sure and say a special thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit to share. And I also want to let you guys know the release times. So this is a part of the Black Friday releases, which I mentioned earlier, and that is going to be November the 25th. So that's Friday at 12 a.m. Pacific time for diamond level members. So convert that to your time zone. If you're not in the Pacific time zone, I am in the central time zone. So that's gonna be 2 a.m. for me. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay up, but I may just have to set an alarm and wake up at two, but I'm gonna try to be awake. That's That I said was for diamond members only. So the general access for everyone else, that's going to be at 6 a.m. Pacific time on Black Friday, November the 25th, and that's a Pacific time as well. So it's 8 a.m. for Central Time. You may want to kind of Google a time zone calculator and it'll let you enter in your time zone versus Pacific time and you can find out what time it's going to be for you just so you can set alarms or be ready. I don't know how fast these kits are going to go, but if you want to get started as soon as they're available, then make sure to get that converted to your time zone. Okay, enough of all that. We wanna see what's in the box. Let's check it out. I see that toolkit. Let's grab that and our smaller sticker. So cute. We'll look at that stuff more in just a second. And then we have the canvas. So here is that a smaller sticker up close. This has just got some information about the kit. You can peel this off and stick it to the box on the side or the bottom or whichever area helps you identify it in your storage situation. If that's what you want to do with it, you can also put it in your logbook. You can make cover minders out of these, anything that you want to do with this sticker. And then here is the toolkit. This is the newer style toolkit. So most of the toolkits I think these days have been this toolkit, but the older style is still in some kits. So if you open up a Diamond Art Club kit and your toolkit doesn't look like this, if it's in a different bag, that's fine. You still have everything you need, but we're gonna look at the contents of this one. Okay, here is what was in that bag. We've got a bag of baggies for kitting up or storage. We have got multi-placers that don't wanna be picked up. There they are. We've got a seven and a four placer. We have also got these very sharp tweezers with the Diamond Art Club branding. Since this is a square kit, they will come with tweezers. If your kit is round, it's not gonna come with tweezers. But uh, yeah, these are very sharp. Definitely keep that plastic cover on for safety. We have got a diamond painting pin with a grippy or squishy that just slides right over the top there. The color may vary on these, so this may not be the color that you get, but every color I've seen has been beautiful. We have also got our red heart waxes in a cute little container with a lid. 
And we've got a diamond painting tray with a stopper so your drills don't slide out. And then my favorite part, so we've got this pretty washi. I love the stripes. I don't know if you guys can hear Nugget snoring in the background. If you can, I apologize. <laughs> but he's having him a good nap. Anyway, the washi tape is usually used around the edges of your diamond painting canvas just to keep sleep fuzzies or dust or pet hair or whatever off of the sides of the canvas. You can also use it to section off if you like to do that. And then last but not least, we have a cover minder, which I noticed when I pulled it out of the bag that the magnets came unattached from the back. They had actually magnetized to the tweezers instead. So I can just put a little glue right there and stick the magnets back to it. So it's no big deal, but very cute cute little dolphin so normally the magnets would be attached back here and what you would do is you would slide them apart and you would have this one underneath your canvas and you would fold your plastic back and then put this top part on the top and it would snap those two magnets together and it would hold that plastic back for you all right i've got the toolkit put away and now we can check out this canvas. Yep, I'm gonna rip the bag. Uh, yep. <laughs> All right, I've always gotta rip the bag. Now then, I'm gonna see if I can get the drills to come out. They don't want to. There they are. Okay, let's take a look at this stuff first. Here are the, ooh, here are the drills. Oh my goodness. Look at all of those colors. Those are so pretty. I'm loving these reds. Okay, we will go through all of these one by one in just a few minutes. So I won't obsess too much right now. I do want to let you know that there is a label here on your drill packaging so you can match this up with the canvas if you do store these two separately which i do so this is very helpful for me also we have got this thank you booklet inside you'll find some qr codes this one up here will take you to a video on how to diamond paint this one will take you to the vip facebook group which i highly recommend You've got a coupon code there. And then on the back, you have got QR codes to scan to take you to the Diamond Art Club app. And then we have got this larger sticker sheet, which will give you a larger look at that image. So good. This is similar to the smaller sticker. It's just giving you information about the kit, but this one does have a start and end date in case you like to track your progress that way, which makes this really good for a log book. So down here, we've got the dimensions. This kit is 55.8 centimeters by 55.8 centimeters or 22 by 22 inches. And over here, we can see that we've got 54 colors and how many ABs? Any color code under 150 is an AB. So let's just take a look. All right, four, four ABs. And each one of these stickers, I, I'm gonna show you, uh, yeah, there we go. Each one of these stickers peels up by itself. So you've got individual stickers that you can stick on your containers when you're kitting up to really make that process very simple for you. And now we can take a look at this pretty canvas. Let me see if I can get it the right way. Okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Look at the eyes. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. Okay. What I'm going to do is real quick, I'm going to flip this over and roll it backwards just to help flatten it out a little bit. That's not going to hurt it since this is a poured glue canvas, but Diamond Art Club canvases, they lay flat on their own. It just takes a few minutes, but since we're trying to look at it right now, I'm going to go ahead and roll it. 
There we go. Just a quick roll and it's like almost completely flat now. Just look at that. I'm so impressed with this rendering. I know that I always like have to take a few minutes to just be excited about every kit that I open, but you know what? They're all that good. So sorry if you don't like the part where I gush about it, <laughs> but down here, in the corner, you've got the title of the kit, the dimensions again, and then down here, you have got your licensing information. So this licensing information just means that the artist is being compensated and has given permission for their artwork to be used. So if that kind of thing is important to you, as it is to me, then that's where you can find that. Also on the sides, we have got a legend over here and a legend over here. So you can flip this canvas all around every which way and you'll still be able to access one of those legends i am really kind of overwhelmed by this one it is just it's so good it's so good okay since i'm not quite able to get the whole thing in the frame i'm gonna go ahead and give you like a like an overhead view so that you can see the whole thing at once you guys like in love with this one because I can't stop looking at it. I have spent quite a few minutes off camera just looking at it. Maybe this is a Gemini thing. I like it so much because I'm a Gemini and I just, I can see myself here. I don't know what it is, but anyway, this is amazing to me. What we are going to do now before I go on and on again is we're going to look at the drills. So I am going to open these guys up and we will take a look at each of them one by one. So if you don't like this part, I'll have a chapter or a timestamp down below where you can skip to the part where we look at where all of the ABs go. We have got 902, 666, 938, 400, 890, 356, 3778, 3776, 319, 301, 3371, two bags, 321, 300, 898. Here's our big 310 strand. So one, two, three four, five bags of 310, 947-3826, 743-740-498, 355-742-3818, 744-748, 3830, 3771, 754, 469, 976. Looks like this is a great strand to talk about AB. So this is our first AB, this 114, a pretty red. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And these drills just have a special coating on the top to shine just a little bit differently than a regular drill. So here is a regular drill and they sparkle beautifully, but it's just a different type of light reflecting that these do. So this one here is 352 and then we've got another AB, 129. So you can see this nice buttery yellow. You can, I think you can see even better on this one, that coating and how it reflects the light. So pretty. And then we have 722 and here we go. 141. So another AB. Very, very pretty. I think there'll be one more later. 906, 38, 37, 721, 38, 54, 741, 
119, okay, this is the last AB, just a nice small bag here of that purple. I love that one. And then we have 3777 and 951. Okay, we are done with drills, so if you've skipped to here, welcome back. We are gonna look at where these ABs go. I have separated them from the strands so we can take a look. The first one we're going to look at is this red, this pretty 114. It's the number one symbol. And most of this is found in this little ribbon right over here. So it's just going to come down a little bit right there and then pick up again, just little lines of it. And then it comes down through there and down through here, a little bit more <laughs> right there, but also a few other spots I noticed. So there's just a little section of it right there. And then also at the top, there's some right here, some around there. And well, no, there's a little pop of it right here too, but that is all like this side right here where you see a lot of red, it's, it's, all of that is not AB. <laughs> there's, there's just little bits of it right there, right there, but mostly in that ribbon over here. And the next AB is the purple, this 119, and it is the symbol number two, and it is in this ribbon. So we will just start up here and then it comes down. There's a bit on this side. It comes around there and then some more towards the bottom. So there are other purples. It's not all AB. I guess I could bring this up to show you what we're looking at is those twos. So there's another purple there. It's not entirely AB. And then on this ribbon, same thing. There's there's other reds in there, but there's that one for that red AB. And that's all for that purple one. And the next one is B129, this pretty yellow. It's symbol number three. I did notice this one was a bit more widely dispersed. And, and I say that because I'm probably going to miss pointing out some, but I'm going to try. So I see it here in this little sparkle. And then there's a little pop right there. Just one little AB. Let me bring it closer so you can see what I mean. Just one. <laughs> and then moving up here, just one. That's why I'm thinking I'm, I'm probably going to miss pointing out some. But there's one there as well. And let me look down this side. I don't see, oh, I do see. There's two in that little sparkle right there. But the main place we're going to see this is in the center. We've got a nice line of it right there. I don't know if there's any more in this section. There's a little one, one. And let me really show you where we're gonna be looking. Up here in the mask. So you can see it is outlining this entire eye opening and then outlining the whole mask there. I'll just let you see it goes all the way around. And then there are also some parts that have like a whole little section of those threes inside this mask. And I think that is it for that AB. Next is 
the white AB 141 and it's symbol number four. This one I know I'm gonna miss pointing out some because every single spot on this canvas that <laughs> looks bright white is that AB. So let me see if I can get this to come towards me. So there, there, there. Just so many little confetti pops of that four. All through here, there's a little section. I guess some of these are not AB because I see that U symbol. That looks like a bright white. That might be that 3865, yeah. So not every single spot you see that is white is the AB, but many of them are. So some more little sections, more little dots. This whole little sparkle here is that four. There's one. Also, their eyes. There is one little pop of that white AB. And I'm just going to keep on pointing as we go up. Just tons and tons of little, little confetti dots of this one. One right there. And you kind of, you get the picture. I don't want to bore you by pointing at every single little one. But I think you can see what's going on here. I'll just bring it back down a little bit. There's a little line of it there, another pop there, the, the eyes on this side as well. Now I'm seeing still some of that four here, but not a lot of these little pops here are like more of a yellow and not that bright white, but there's still some. There is still plenty down here down towards the corner here and then little dots at you know you know there's no way there's no way that I could point all those out but I did my best so that is all the ABs for this gorgeous gorgeous canvas so of course as always I want to talk about color blocking versus confetti and I know what you're thinking I know what you're thinking you see this color blocked background and anybody that knows me knows that I don't do color blocked backgrounds. But listen, like you can see that there's there's a lot of that and it is it's 310. It's just a full black background. So there's some nice blocks. Nice blocks for those that love color blocking. But you know when we were going through the drills, we only had, what was it, five bags of 310? Let me check. Yes, it was five bags. So five bags of 310. And I am thinking to myself, and the kit that I'm currently working on is a Hannah Land kit. And that kit has more than five bags of 310. And I don't feel like that's going to be a nightmare of any kind. Like, I can easily place six or more bags of 310. And so five bags of 310 doesn't really overwhelm me. Like you could break this up, like do this section and be like, you know what? I don't think I can color block anymore. And then by all means <laughs> work on any of this because that is definitely not as much color blocking. So let me bring it a little closer. So, I mean, there, there's still some sections where it's not just like a confetti disaster, as some people would say. I would call it confetti heaven. But you, you do have these confetti pops of these different colors in here. So I really, I really don't think that like if you hate color blocking, I really don't think you should count this one out. I think that this would still work for you. I mean, it's still going to work for me. I'm excited about it and I am not one for color blocking. But you can see there, there's plenty... For the confetti lover, plenty of things to switch up, not be doing the same thing all the time. And then, you know, whenever you're just wanting to zone out and not think too much, you can come down here. Maybe if you, uh, if you multi-place, that would make short work of these sections. I don't think it's terribly overwhelming as far as the color blocking goes or as far as the confetti goes. I think this is, this is a nice mix. So again, before I close out this video, don't forget that this is one of the Black Friday Diamond Art Club releases. So be sure 
and set your alarms or however it is that you are going to remind yourself of when the sale begins. And that is going to be 12 a.m. Pacific time or 6 a.m. Pacific time. So Diamond Level members shop at 12 a.m. Pacific time, general access at 6 a.m. Pacific time. So convert that to your time zone and be ready to snag these beautiful kits that we are seeing. I am so excited to hear what you guys are planning to get. Let me know in the comments how excited you are, what you're thinking about all of these kits that we're seeing. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!